Hello and welcome back. Uh, it's great that we could uh, um, do this study together and we've been looking at attitude and our series is called Our Attitude Matters. Our attitude really matters because, because it can prevent us or it can propel us into all that God has for us. Um, our attitude can either help us or hinder us. So it's good that we pay attention to the kind of attitude that we have because it really colors our outlook on life itself. Today we are looking at an, out, uh, an, an attitude that we need to definitely avoid and that's the attitude of entitlement. Um, we are taking a serious look at it so that we can see how it manifests and how it displays itself so that when we recognize it, when we identify it, we can discern and say, okay, I don't want to have any part with this. So this is an attitude of um, entitlement that we need to avoid. Uh, believing that one has a certain right to benefits, advantages or privileges when it is not part of a contract or when it is not part of a covenant or when it is not part of even the constitution, you know, that's a sense of entitlement or an attitude of entitlement. Now at the core of this attitude is pride and self-centeredness. It just revolves around uh, our self in the center and in, it's an expectation that says everyone owes me something all the time and it's not a healthy attitude to have. It can be very damaging to us and to others. So how does this attitude of entitlement, how does it display itself? You know, when we expect others to overlook damages or losses that happen because of our carelessness and uh, uh, when, we, when we have disregard for what belongs to others and because of that, if something happened and when we have this sense of entitlement that it should be overlooked, then that's an uh, attitude of entitlement. Or maybe at an event or a public event, you know, when we, uh, when we um, seek a place of prominence, uh, when we, maybe because of our position, maybe because of our title, when we seek a place of prominence, when we expect certain favors to be done, that's a sense of uh, attitude of entitlement. Or it could be even very practical things like a lack of punctuality. When we show up for every meeting, it could be team meetings, it could be an appointment, it could be something very important. But when we show up late every time and expect others to accommodate when we expect others to excuse that behavior all the time that's a sense of entitlement um, or it could even be that we did a favor for someone we extended help to someone and we expect that favor in return and expect that every time we meet the people whom we help now that's a sense of entitlement it's damaging because it's damaging to ourselves this sense of entitlement this attitude it causes a lot of disappointment, anger and, uh, and hurt uh, for ourselves because when people don't live up to that expectation, first of all, it is a wrong expectation, but when people uh, do not live up to that expectation, it causes a lot of disappointment in us. Uh, secondly, it damages relationships with other people very quickly when we have this sense of entitlement. And also, we are unable to grow in Christ-likeness Christ because uh, we are unable to walk in the humility with which the Lord Jesus walked. Okay. Matthew chapter 20 and verse 28 says, Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. This is the love of the Lord Jesus. These are the words of the Lord Jesus that he came without expecting anything in return. He gave himself without expecting anything in return. So how do we deal with this attitude? Firstly, we can reflect and check. Is this expectation that I have, is it justified? Is it part of the written contract? Is it part of the covenant that I made? Is it, is it justified in any way? Secondly, would the Lord Jesus do this? Would he expect this if he were in my place? Another thing that we can do is we can thank people. We can begin to thank people sincerely from our heart for their kindness, for their favor, for their help without expecting anything in return in the present or in the future. And also, when we start esteeming others better than ourselves in a healthy manner, then we can really kill or we can hit the root of this attitude of 
entitlement. The best thing is to serve. The best thing is to help and go beyond ourselves, our comfort zone and help others without um, expecting anything in return. So let's pray and let's ask God to help us. Lord, we thank you that, uh, that uh, you came and you gave yourself, Lord, without expecting in return. And Lord, I pray that same heart will be formed in us, that same mindset will be in us, Lord. And we humble ourselves and when we serve without expecting any return, without return, without expecting any favor in return. Lord, we pray that you would destroy this attitude of entitlement in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.